Hello. Infinite lifetime projects could be a challenge to calculate your uh, annual worth. However, in this question, I will be uh, taking you over the process for calculating the annual worth for uh, infinite projects. So let's take this example. An owner of a manufacturing company based in Bemidji, Minnesota, would is looking to add an additional manufacturing line to expand to expand his market share. There are three options to consider establishing the new line. Information about these options summarized in the following table. We have three alternatives, A, B, and C. A will last for six years, B, infinity. C, C is for uh, six years. Uh, and we have this information, initial cost, maintenance and operational annual cost, maintenance and operational every 10 years, salvage value, and the lifetime. If the market interest rate is 5%, use the annual worth analysis to choose the best alternative. If you see a scenario like this, where uh, different alternatives, several alternatives, and one of them is infinite, uh, infinite infinity that has an inf infinity lifetime what you do start with the alternatives that has a finite lifetime so we're going to start with alternative a and c and then we will go uh, to alternative b and see how we could do the calculation so what you need to do is build your cash flow for uh, both alternatives for six years because both alternatives a a and c has a six years lifetime and start looking into what transaction happening on each year. So on year zero, we have only the initial cost for alternative A, and this is equal to 100,000, and this is a negative because this is a, ca a cost, the initial cost, you paid this. And maintenance and operational cost is 15,000 from year one all the way to year six. However, on year six, we will be collecting the salvage value of $20,000, so the net cash for year six would be five thousand dollars we do the same thing for for alternative c eighty thousand is the initial cost and every year we have to pay twenty thousand as a maintenance and operational cost per year from year one all the way to year six on year six also what we have to do we have to collect the salvage value of thirty thousand dollars next what we need to do we need to calculate the uh, present worth for these uh, transactions so we do the NPV function using the NPV function 5% interest rate select the values from 1 to 6 add to that year 0 and that would give you 161,000 as a present worth same thing do for alternative C use the NPV function 5% select the values from 1 to 6 add year 0 to it to find what would be the equivalent of these transaction in the present format once we have the present value for these two alternatives, A and C, we need, we need to find the annual worth using the PMT function, 5%, and we need to, this project or this alternative will last for six years, so we need to, the equivalency of this number over the six years, and we have the present uh, value would be the number that we calculated from the NPV function. And that would give us a 31,761. Same things, same function we use for alternative C, PMT 5%, 6 uh, years, and D11. So perfect. Now what we do, what we did, we calculated the uh, annual worth for alternative A and C, uh, that these both alternatives will last for 6 years. Now for alternative B, we've learned that the capitalized cost is equal to a the annual worth divided by i so in order to find a and we said the capitalized cost is another term of the present worth right so in order to find a when we what we do we multiply the capitalized cost or what what we call the present worth times i so whenever we see whenever we see any uh, number in the present format we have to multiply it by i to find what would be a. So in this example, alternative b, is there's an initial cost of 130,000. We multiply that by 5% uh, 
to find what would be the equivalent for this. And then we add to that the annual maintenance cost of uh, 15,000. Actually, let's correct that to make it 15,000. So this is going to be 15,000. I'm going to correct this in my uh, table. So this is going to be 15,000. So this is going to be 15,000. Uh, let's see if we could uh, correct this here. Okay, so this again, this is 15,000. And then for the maintenance and operation every 10 years, we have to find what would be the equivalent of the 50,000. Also use the PMT function, negative PMT function, 5%. We're trying to find the equivalency of this amount over the 10 years. And we don't have a present format. The 50 is a future format, a negative 50,000. And that would give you uh, an annual worth for alternative B to be uh, uh, 25,475. And, and therefore, what option, which option we should select? We should select alternative B because this will give us the less expensive option the less expensive option. So I'm going to correct that to be 15,000. Please correct that. 15,000. Okay. I hope this is helpful. Uh, just one more time for the infinity, uh, just to make sure that it's clear. Uh, for the initial cost, we multiply it by the interest rate of 5%. Uh, for the annual uh, maintenance and operational cost, we add it as is. Make sure it's a negative. Uh, for the expenses that we will receive every, like that we have to pay every 10 years, we have to use the uh, PMT function of uh, PMT 5% for 10 years and we use this amount the 50,000 as a future amount because that's going to happen in the future and we trying to divide this over the 10 years in order to find what would be that would be equivalent so adding all these numbers together that would give you a $25,475 the annual worth for alternative B and the uh, final decision that we will uh, say that we will the final decision should be uh, selecting alternative B because this will be the less expensive option. Thank you. I hope this is helpful.